choreograph beginning. I'm trying out this lens. This is my mom's 24 by 70 millimeter Sigma. It's pretty cool. I like it. I've been actually thinking about trying to get a different camera, not camera. I've actually been thinking about trying to get a different lens, not like as my main lens, but I really like how this look looks. Like right here, this actually is, uh, I'm gonna make it a little bit better. So this actually, I really like how this looks. It looks a lot more, um, I don't know, cinematic to me to have this up close look. But on top of that, it's just like, on top of that though, having that blurred background really gives it like a different look in my opinion. If I can adjust it right at least. I just want to talk about some updates, ignoring my frizzy hair because it was raining and like I totally have this like afro looking thing going on. I can get a, I can start to do a man bun here soon. I can look like Sokka from Avatar. Avatar is in the last airbender, not as in the blue people. That was, that one's weird. I just wanted to talk about a couple things because like everything that's happened lately has not been the plan for my channel at all. When I first came here, my intention was to come here for like a week or two, knock out a couple repairs and then leave immediately and start the trip again. And here we are a couple months later and I still haven't gotten there yet. And I don't know if it's bothering anyone else, but it's bothering me because I wanted to be on the road like a long time ago. And I just kind of wanted to update you guys with some stuff because I didn't get to do the Wednesday Q&A yesterday. I thought about it, but I couldn't really think of anything to talk about. So I spent most of the day pondering what I wanted to say. And so I'm just kind of releasing this video instead of doing like a vlog today because I don't like vlogging when I'm working and I had to do some work on the Jeep and I didn't feel like vlogging about it yesterday. So there's a couple updates I wanted to talk about. So first of all, if you've heard me talking on this vlog, you've probably heard me mention that my AC is like an overglorified fan. It doesn't do that much. It doesn't blow very hard. And like, it's nice to have, but it's really not AC. And when I said that, I did not realize how true it was. Cause it turns out it really was an overglorified fan. But the other day I bought some, a, a 20 ounce can of like easy cool or easy cold, whatever. I don't know. I bought a 20 ounce can of Freon and I checked it and I used all of it and it's almost to the green, but it's still a little low. So I need to get more, but it already made the world of difference. The AC is so much colder now. So that is incredible. It's gonna make everything easier. I wish I would have known that sooner because I didn't even realize that it wasn't even blowing cold. It just felt cold because it was still colder than regular air, but it really wasn't AC. It was literally just a fan. So that helped a lot. That's really gonna help. Another thing, um, I changed the oil in the Jeep, so that's good. That's something else I got knocked out because I knew I was going to have to change the oil, but I haven't got to the differentials yet because I'm trying to decide if I want to tackle it myself or pay someone else to do it. Usually, I would just do it myself, but I'm trying to think. I'm really paranoid that if I do it myself, I'm going to do the gasket wrong and it's going to leak because I had a lot of nightmares where that happened, and I really don't want to have to deal with that. I don't want to like go change the differential fluid, have it leak, and then have to do it all over again because that's actually going to cost more than if I just pay someone, a professional, to do it right the first time. That's my biggest holdup, and so I'm trying to debate on that one. I really need to get the muffler replaced. When I had the dry shaft pop off on the rear, it's happened twice now, and it'll whip around, and it hit my muffler. So now it really sputters and stuff, and I think it's going to affect the airflow, which is going to affect performance. So I need to figure out what that is so I can fix that. I still need to get that gear in. There's just a lot of stuff going on. The Jeep it's an old Jeep, so it really does need repair. And with all that stuff, I'm having to balance out my finances with also trying to do these repairs because it's really a weird mix. I have to get this stuff fixed if I want to do the trip, but I need this money to do the trip. So I'm like trying to balance out with like my budget. And I know it seems like I got a lot of money. I really don't. I'm really hoping that I can somehow find a way to make money off this channel so that I can actually do this trip and I'm going to do it no matter what. It's just a matter of fig figuring out like how I'm going to do that. And I've been really busy trying to work that out. Even this morning, I was trying to do some stuff with Amazon. So now if you look in the links down below, any of those links, if you go down and look where I um, have my gear and stuff, if you buy any of that stuff, I actually get reimbursed for that. And the first time I was doing this trip and stuff, I've been trying to think what exactly happened that I didn't like and what did I like? Like trying to brainstorm what could change that would make this trip easier and different things and one of the biggest things was the cooler having it out especially in hotter climates I put ice in it and it starts to melt and even if it only melts like after a week or so it slowly waters down and 
I ruined a lot of food by doing that. I had a lot of stuff break while it was in the cooler. I also, it's just hard to store stuff in there because of the water factor. It sloshes around, it clanks around, and I always had to buy ice. So no matter where I went, I always had to keep in mind that I would have to go buy ice at some point. And I was prepared to deal with that, but I had been doing a lot of research and thinking about it. And so I actually just recently bought a fridge. So I'm gonna have a mini fridge in the back of the Jeep. It was actually a budget op option. It was um, about a $300 fridge. It's not an ARB or a Dometic, which is what I wanted, one of those two, one of the higher end brands. I'm really crossing my fingers on if this is gonna work or not, cause I really could not afford one of the higher end fridges, even if I wanted to. If I could, I would, but because I can't, going with a budget option, seeing how well this works. So I'm gonna actually sell my cooler and then see if I can get the money back for it so it'll even itself out and I can you know, get a little bit of a discount on the fridge. My plan for now is that as soon as I get back out, I want to be completely prepared to tackle any obstacles. So that's what I'm working on right now is I'm trying to, anything that might hold me up on the trip, I wanna get that done. So even though it's been like over a month since I wanted to leave, I'll be completely prepared and ready to tackle any situation that comes at me, any obstacle that could interfere with the trip. I wanna to try to get that done now so I don't have any holdups. When I first started the trip, I thought I was prepared, but immediately I started having issues. Bolts were coming loose, stuff was breaking, and the whole time I was on the trip, I didn't even have four wheel drive. I literally could not go to events or do things I wanted to do because I was always paranoid about the four wheel drive. And I actually don't think I've even been in four low since I changed out the transmission to the AX15. I just recently figured out what I needed to do and I just got my four wheel drive back. I tested it yesterday, finally for the first time in I don't even know how long. I can change it off from the shifter right here. It's good, it's, it's probably not gonna break on me. I'm hoping it's not gonna break on me. But this is like really, really exciting because it's a Jeep, it's supposed to be four wheel drive and to not have that feature kind of sucked all the fun out of having the Jeep. But even though it might not seem like I'm getting a lot done, I'm really working hard right now to try to knock out everything that's been holding me up so I can be completely prepared to start this road trip as soon as possible. And it's really exciting for me because I got a lot of stuff going on. I'm just trying to knock it out and uh, yeah, so hopefully, I know I said I was gonna leave at the beginning of September. I was supposed to leave a week ago, but apparently I have to get my teeth ripped out and I really don't know how things are gonna go. This is really like, I'm really like spontaneously doing this. I don't know where I'm gonna get the money from. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but you know, I think as long as I have the motivation and the drive to accomplish this, I'll find a way. I mean, I don't know if I have to pick up quarters at the Walmart parking lot, but one way or another, I really plan on departing on this amazing adventure really soon. I'm hoping to be more prepared than before and have, you know, everything I need. I'm still trying to work a couple things out, but I'm really excited to finally, you know, start this off and be a lot more prepared than I was before. You know, I learned a couple things, what, what works, what doesn't. So as long as I can accomplish those things, get it all worked out, we'll be set. Something I wanna do from now on, I actually want to have you guys send me on Instagram, if you go into DMs and you send me a video of your rig, it doesn't matter if it's a Jeep or a Toyota or whatever, any like four wheel drive vehicles or even van lifers. If I have any van lifers that um, follow me, go to my Instagram and if you subscribe to my channel and DM me uh, just a short video of your rig, just kind of do a quick walk around, you know, like a 30 second video, no longer than a minute preferably, but I would like to feature you in my videos. So if you've got a Jeep or something, it doesn't really matter if you're just a straight up dune buggy or if it's a or if it's actually like an overland build, just be like, say your name, say your vehicle or whatever. Or if you don't feel comfortable showing yourself, just get a video of your vehicle and be like, hey, this is my, you know, 2005 Toyota Tacoma vehicle. You know, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm just thinking this. I think it'd be really cool to see like what you guys have. What do you drive? What's your, you know, four wheel drive vehicle? So if you would actually like to help support me, I set up a GoFundMe down below. You can go, even a dollar helps. It helps me buy coffee or whatever, or gas. I don't know. Every, every penny counts. Also, in case I haven't mentioned it enough, check this out. I'm very proud of this. This is a fellow. This is a fellow and it's got my name on it. Life of Trevor, official. So this is the coolest thing ever, if you can see that. I don't know if you can see it because this lens is a zoom lens and I don't know. I got all this merch, t-shirts, stickers, everything. I think it looks great. Anything you buy from there also helps support me or even just subscribing to the channel. Can't wait to get back on the road 
And now that I got this bed and everything, it's gonna be cool. I'm really excited. I got a lot of plans, stuff to do. And as soon as Colorado's not on fire again, I can go out there and be there again. And I think that's all. I think that's all. But I wasn't wrong.